The Mercedes 450 SLC of the early 1970s was the near pinnacle of the Mercedes line for luxury and elegance. What a lot of people don't know is that it was also a very, very successful endurance rally car. In 1955, Mercedes decided to formally pull out of motorsports. But what a lot of people don't realize is they didn't leave motorsports entirely. Because they wanted a proving ground for the quality and reliability of their cars. And if they couldn't do sports car racing or Formula One racing, they decided they would go do endurance rallying. Africa, South America, Scandinavia, winning championships throughout the world. My brother Gary lives in Colorado, I live in California. Uh, we are close, we stay close, and we're continuously looking for activities that allow us to spend time together. And I thought, my goodness, this is something Gary and I should do together. And that's really how this got started. With your Mercedes background, the Mercedes 450 SLC very quickly emerged as a top candidate. But it's a great way for us to spend time together because we enjoy spending time together. The rally starts in Ho Chi Minh City, which a lot of people will remember as Saigon. So we start there. Uh, and then wind our way through Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Thailand, uh, finishing in Hanoi. So it's uh, 30 days, uh, 9,000 kilometers through Southeast Asia. 30 days in the same small <laughs> cockpit. It's going to be fun. <laughs> if the car breaks, uh, we're, we're coming with a lot of spares. Gary, thankfully, has a lot of Mercedes repair savvy. We also have uh, their, their support mechanics that will follow the rally around. And if worse comes to worse, the bucket seats actually recline nicely. Sleep in, <laughs> we can sleep in the car if need be. We can sleep in the car if need be. Yeah. And I think we used up all the new parts that are available for the 450 SLC, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. hopefully those won't fail. And, <laughs> and I've used all the favors uh, that I can possibly imagine calling in from Jerry Woods Enterprises. They, they did uh, us a huge favor by taking on this project and doing such a fine job. In the more modern 560 SL, they had uh, aluminum hoods. And so the steel hood went out. The, so the steel hood, which weighs about 68 pounds, was replaced with a 16 pound aluminum hood. We went out to Metric Motors in Canoga Park and he built us a beautiful stock Mercedes-Benz 4.5 cast iron motor standard compression because we didn't know what kind of fuel grade we might have. Yeah, we're running the, the stock original, very primitive early electronic fuel injection. This is all coupled with an automatic three-speed transmission. And they were all automatic in the day, even the championship winning cars. that Jerry Woods guys created a lot more ground clearance by basically Frenching in and recessing in the exhaust pipes up into the pan. In bumpy roads, the shocks were constantly extending full length, so we wanted more shock trim. We needed bigger shock towers for that. You insisted that all four shocks were the same. JWE make a much larger shock tower in the front as well. We're gonna carry one spare shock which will work in any of the four corners. And we 
did a proper FIA rated racing fuel cell. We made it narrower to accommodate the shock towers and then we also moved it more forward, which moved some of the weight forward, which was a positive. Our goal in this race, my personal goal, is to enjoy each other's company and both brothers go in and they both come out healthy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, what is your goal? Uh, just to finish and have fun. Uh, yeah. Just to finish and have fun. The shocks and the suspension play so well together that even potholes uh, are enjoyable to go over. It's um, just really well dialed in. The car's good in high speed sweepers, very stable. Um, corners flat and level. And it's good in the tight twisties too. Um, for a car of its weight, uh, right. it's pretty nimble.